Hey everyone, it's Zinnia here, and today I wanted to show you how you can make this soccer tapping game in Octo Studio. So yeah, by the end of this video, you'll be able to make your own game like this one, and I'll start with this base game, but then I'll show you how you can make it more challenging if you want to. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So I'll tap create new project, and you know, then you can tap choose a sprite to pick an object, and I will first pick the object that I want to be moving around in the background. So for me, that's the soccer goal. Uh, you can pick, you know, whatever object you want. Um, but yeah, I'll add the goal and then you can choose a backdrop. I will choose this field, but yeah, you can choose whatever you want for your game. Um, yeah, and then I'll just move the goal to uh, back here where I want it to go. And we want this goal to be always sort of moving in the background so that the player has to try to tap the ball to score a goal. So to make the goal move, I can drag out this move block and if I tap that, it, you know, makes the sprite move. And if I go to the control category and drag out a forever block and then put it around it, now that will make it forever keep moving. So I can make it do that when the play button is pressed. So that's looking pretty good. Now let's add the soccer ball or whatever object you want to, like the player to have to try to get into the goal. So I will tap add a sprite and I will go down here and add the soccer ball. But yeah, again, you could have whatever object you want in your game. And I'm gonna make it a little smaller. That seems pretty good. And I'll just drag it to where I want it to start. And then with this sprite, we want it to go towards the goal when the player taps on it. So I'll go to the when to start category and I'll drag out a when I tap block. And so now we can make something happen when the player taps it. And you know we want it to move, so I'll drag out another move block and put it there. And instead of having it go this way, I can have it go upward. So let's try it out. So if I tap on the soccer ball, okay, it goes upward, but not quite enough to reach the goal. So I will just increase this number and you can, I don't know, you can test around with this and see what number works for your game. But let's try that now. I will tap it. Okay, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, but also, once I've tapped it, it's just staying up there. So I think let's make it go back down to that original spot, you know, when after it after it rolls up. Um, and the way you can do that is, so if you tap the play button, it will go back to where you dragged it. It'll go back to this spot. And then if you drag out a go to block, that go to block will actually be set to the location that it's at. So now I can just use this go to block and wherever the sprite goes, if I tap this go to block, it'll make it go back there. So that's pretty good. So I'll put that after the move upward block so that now after I tap it, it moves up, but then it goes back down. So that's pretty nice. Now, I think we should add some sound effects. Uh, so I will go to the words and sounds category and I'm gonna drag out a play sound block and I'll have it maybe play the ball sound when I tap the sprite. So uh, let me tap that. And so that's pretty good, but I think I want it to like play the sound while it's rolling, not play the sound and then roll. Uh, so if you want that, you can just tap here and tap play sound and continue. And so now when I tap the sprite, there you go, it like rolls right away, which I like. Um, also, I think when it, when the ball runs into the goal, I'll have it play a sound. So I'll drag out the when touches block and it's set to like when touches the goal. So that's good. Um, and yeah, I will have it play a sound and I will have it play another sound. I'm going to tap here to search for another one. I know, I know there's one called chime. Okay. Chime. Yes. That is what I want. Now, when I go here, I can tap it and there we go. It like plays a sound effect. So also still just making the base of the game, let's add a score. So I will go to the more blocks category and I will, let's have it change the score by one um, every time it runs into the goal. So, okay, well, I missed it that time, but pretend that didn't happen. Um, there we go. So if I score a goal, then I get a point. And also how about when the uh, play button is pressed, I'll, I'll drag out a when play button pressed block. Uh, I will set the variable score to zero. So, you know, every time you start the game, your score starts back at zero. I think that's a pretty good base for a soccer game. You know, we've got this, uh, you, know, you can tap on the ball, try to score, you can fail sometimes. I didn't fail, uh, but you can fail. So let's say you want to make the game more challenging. Uh, let me show you how you can do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it so that the player has to, okay, I'm using a tablet, but you can also do this on the phone. Um, you, let's make it so the player has to like, tilt the device to actually position the ball to score a goal. Uh, so to do that, I am gonna go to, oh, okay, I'm already there. I'm gonna go to the more blocks category and there's this block tilt to move. So I'm gonna drag that out. I don't really know where to put these. I, 
I don't, I don't know how to organize a project. I do, but I don't want to think about it. Um, if I tap on this, and you know what, I'll, I'll make this happen when the play button is pressed. So, so now I can tilt the device to move the ball around. But right now I can just tilt it anywhere on the screen. And so I can tap here and choose tilt left and right. And so now I can only tilt, move it left and right by tilting it. It stays at the same height at all times. So let me try that now. So if I tap it to try to get a goal, now tilting it affects where it goes. But one thing you'll notice is I can still like tilt it to affect where it goes even after I've tapped it. And let's say in your game, you want it to be that the player can tilt the phone to like position the ball, but then once they tap it, it just goes straight. Let me show you how you can do that. So what I will do is, so in inside this block, the forever tilt to move, how about we make it only let the player tilt to move if the sprite is low on the screen. So if the ball is very low on the screen, then yes, the player can tilt to move. But if it isn't, then they can't, then the tilting won't move the ball. The way you can do that is I'll go to the control category and I'm going to drag out an if block. And this comes with this little block score, but I'm actually going to get rid of this score. And instead of score, I'm going to go to the more blocks category and drag out this soccer ball info block or, you know, whatever the sprite is in your project. And instead of size, I'm going to tap Y position. And now we can make it do this tilt to move action like this, which is basically just letting the sprite move based on the tilt of the device. You know, this, that's what this block does. That's, that's what tilt to move is. We can make it only do that if the Y position is less than a certain number because the Y position is how high the sprite is on the screen. And so we'll make it so you can only tilt and move it if the Y position is less than like something around here. And so let's figure out what that number should be. So let me look at this go to block. So the, it starts out at Y of 28. So how about we say if the Y position is less than 30, then you can tilt to move. So let me try that out. And so now I can, now when this ball is down here, I can tilt to can move it. But uh, then once I tap it, now it, I, it just goes straight. I can't tilt to move it anymore. So that's how you can do that if you want to. Um, and yeah, I, so, okay, now I have to shout out Eric for this part. Eric had the idea that like you could add some like animation effects to the ball when you tap it. So I'm going to show you how to do that because I think it's really cool. Oh, you know, one other thing I'm going to do, instead of making it that you have to tap on the ball itself, I'm going to make it so you, you can tap anywhere on the screen. So now if you tap anywhere, that makes the, the ball move. So aside from just having it move forward to add that animation, I'll drag out another when I tap block and I'll choose, you know, when I tap anywhere on the screen. And how about uh, I'll just drag out a jump block and then see what that does. So now when I tap, it like does a little bounce. And also if you wanted to, you could add another jump afterwards. So it does another little smaller jump. Like maybe I'll just make it jump 10 and you know, see how that does. And then see how you like that. Yeah, you can really play around with it and have and try out whatever blocks you want. I'll also make it so that it uh, gets smaller as it goes away from the player. So I will uh, drag out another when tap block and I'll say, when tap anywhere. And I can say, uh, you know, when you tap on the ball, make it change size by say like negative 20. So now when I tap on it, it, it it's like it's going away, it gets smaller. Um, now it, it's staying small, so I will actually go and make it, so when it, when it goes back to this position, I will also make it like set size to whatever its size was. I think it was like something like 70, but let me actually see. So I go there and it goes back. Okay, yeah, uh, 70 seems too big. I'm gonna try like 60, is that right? seems right okay i also make that happen at lightning speed so those are just some ways you could animate the sprite you could honestly try anything you want as well and so yeah that's what i wanted to show you today those are just some ideas for how you could make this soccer game base but also how you could add to it to make it more challenging um and yeah i'd love to see what other things you'd like to add to it i mean you could add more backdrops or like more types of objects that could be going past but yeah i hope you have fun making your projects and i'll see you in the next video